Good morning boys and girls. A nice fresh morning this morning. Um, this morning's little chat, I've, I've had quite an interesting couple of days. Internet. Love it or hate it. Now, I'm in a group of airhead owners, or BMW, they call this type of bike the airhead, because it's air-cooled. And I'm in a group, and there's a lot of groups, and some of them are really snobby and stuck up, and I don't, don't really like groups, but I'm in this one in Australia, called BMW Airheads Australia. Come back to that in a second. You all know, or most of you that have been watching me know, I'm rebuilding 1947 BSA C11-250cc and it's been in a sort of state of morning been in a state of hibernation over winter and I've struggled with finding a couple of bits and one of the bits I've struggled with was the wheel bearing shaft which I've now got and the other, which was proving bloody impossible, was a spring that holds the brush against the commutator on the dynamo. I'm sure the older mechanics amongst us and those who have fiddled with older cars and bikes know what I'm talking about. A uh, little carbon brush. They were seized, cleaned them, but there was only one spring. So I've been searching. Good wind today. Wow. Why is the wind so bloody noisy some days and no problem others? Anyway, I've been searching high and low for this spring and in the end I put out a Facebook message. Please, please help. One of the lads I talk to regularly, Tim Sparks, he's, he's got my sense of humour, he's a great bloke to talk to. And we share email jokes and things like that, but he's just, he's just one of those chaps that you like talking to. There are a few other John and Mark on there. Um, but Timothy said, send me a photograph, I might have one. Now he's in, uh, he's in New South Wales. Um, I'm not sure that it's Cuddle, Cudle, he'll correct me, he'll tell me off. C-U-D-A-L, little outback town. And he come back to me, he said, well I've been fishing in my shed, millions of BMW parts. Oh, that's drifting. And I think I've found what you want. Um, I'm trying the camera down there because Skeggy are for a higher position. And I said it vibrates and shakes too much and it bloody well is as well. Um, I think the picture's going to be shy. Anyway, getting back to him, he said, I might have a spring. So he said, look, I'm pretty sure I've got one. Send me your phone number. I'll talk to you. So he rang me, 8 o'clock in the morning which is appreciated. We had a natter. Um, yeah, I like him even more, having spoke to him. He's, he's got my weird sort of sense of humour. I don't think we're going to get pictures worth shit off that, are we? Off that camera. We really are not. Anyway, um, I might post them on just to let Skeggy see. It's a lost call. My fairing, although you don't see it, vibrates or anything attached to the fairing vibrates. Anyway. He sent me photographs of the dynamo he's got in his shed, identical. So, he's popping it in the post. Yeah, postal time from Australia, I don't know, a week or whatever it is, doesn't matter. I've been waiting for years for this bit. But isn't that marvellous? Doesn't that re enforce your belief in, in human beings. There's so much crap in the world, and so much shite. And there we are, I've got a spring that has been impossible to find, coming from a dusty shed in New South Wales, all the way back to Britain where it started, to go on an old bike that my, that being rebuilt for my daughter. I mean, I'm just, I just love the internet. Would I have found it? I mean, I've searched the internet for this part. I've searched every type of site. American science, Australian, British, German. Nobody's had one. 
A couple of people have offered me a reconditioned um, dynamo at horrendous costs, and I haven't got money. I'm unemployed. I'm spending pennies to rebuild this bike, which is why it's taking so long. And of all places to find one. A BMW rider in the outback has got one. All these British bike um, restorers, I suspect some of them have got one but don't want to let it go or just being silly because it, they can't make enough profit out of it. That's more the point. Look, I'll sell you the dynamo because I'll make a few quid out of that but if I sell you the spring I won't make bugger all because what can I charge for it versus postage? I suspect greed comes into a lot of it. But this morning I'm a happy bunny. So your opinions, the internet, love it or hate it. I love it. Children, um, I brought my children up to respect and know. You can't, if you block them from seeing things on the internet, they're still going to see it on their friends' phones at school. Um, so, you know, it's all right putting internet locks on your internet at home but they'll still see it at their friend's house or on their friend's mobile phone or on their own mobile phone so you've got to bring them up and I've brought all my kids up and I trust them and I believe that if they look at the wrong image on a website they know what they're looking at and understand it anyway bye for now I shall catch you later bye bye